Good evening everyone and welcome to today's session. We shall pass through the night of the 2nd Jan to get into 3rd Jan so that we will say, hey, day after tomorrow is my day of coronation. That is what we are all waiting for. All the wonderful princes and princesses across the country who are waiting for the coronation on Sunday. Welcome to Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. Abid Attar, Nagredi Saab, good evening. Shweta, Shweta Jain, Shweta, Ashwin, everybody. Can you please refresh? Can you please refresh your browser? Kindly refresh your browser. Yes. So, Doctor, where is our journey? Now, which disease is common after disaster malaria? Rather, in a disaster, that's what examiner want. So, FMG June 2019, still another. 100 questions are there, we will try to finish it. Gastroenteritis outbreaks are the, the second most common after malaria. Anemia of a community you want to study. What is the best way to study anemia, doctor, in a community? Prevalence of it. It is the cross sectional study, is what you need to remember. How do you make, make out the gout? More than the blood, more than the urine. It is the synovial fluid in which the urate crystal concentration is very much diagnostic is what you need to remember. Keep punching the answers, doctor. That is how we are all parallelly in the same game and we are going to make it happen, right? So revision sessions are all, any session is supposed to be interactive. You speak, I speak, all of us speak, right? Which is true about ranula? What type of cyst is ranula? So you should remember, huh? it is an extra vasation cyst. Ranula is a mucus extra vasation phenomena. Mucus retention cyst. It occurs in the floor of the mouth. Commonly, it is the ductal obstruction, trauma, cellulite, which will be responsible. It is fluctuant. Unilateral soft tissue mass in the floor of the mouth is what you need to remember. So, ranula is an extra vasation cyst that arises from the sublingual gland. So, tomorrow, examiner is going to give you a ranula and ask you to discover it in the image based MCQ. Now, Dr. McCardle's disease. Very good. Gagan says, if you try to operate this sublingual ranula, lingual nerve is most commonly injured. Absolutely right, doctor. McCardell's disease is caused by what? It is a deficiency of muscle phosphorylase. Among all these, aptus ulcer is considered to be non-malignant lesion of the mouth. The secretory phase in menstrual cycle, when does it start, doctor? Typically by 14th day of ovulation occur. And uh, post ovulation, corpus luteum is producing abundant amount of progesterone, right? So that lead to all the secretory changes which start from the 14th day, as all of you know very well. Extrinsic pathway, you know that factor 7, factor 7 is unka rasta alag hai, 7 ka, it is called extrinsic pathway factor, 2 become prothrombin become 2A, activated 2, that is thrombin, 
For that you require 5 and 10. For the formation of the 10 you require 8, 9, then uh, uh, 11, etc, etc. So they are all APTT intrinsic pathway, 7 is called PT extrinsic pathway. 2, 5, 10 come under common pathway. Then what are vitamin K dependent factors, doctor? 2, 7, 9, 10 are the vitamin K dependent factors. But out of all, 7 has the shortest half life. So whenever vitamin K deficiency is there, the first to fall is 7. First to prolong in early vitamin K deficiency is PT. Later on, both PT and APTT become prolonged. That's what you need to remember. Now, doctor, earliest sign of vocal cord paralysis, the rough husky voice quality is the earliest sign of the vocal cord paralysis. Once more, I want to tell you, take this as a clue once more, vocal cord paralysis. What are all the vocal cord muscles? How does external laryngeal nerve versus recurrent laryngeal nerve differ from each other? Then, Ishiki uh, procedures to repair vocal cord paralysis. All these areas, you need to take an opportunity to do the revision. 19 year old primary. 8 weeks of gestation, first trimester bleeding, light bleeding is there. What is next thing that you want to do? If you use this kind of words now, light bleeding and all that, our uh, gynecology obstetrics professor used to kill us in the ward. She used to say, what is this light bleeding? Is there anything like a slight pregnancy? No, no. Why are you using the word light bleeding? So, I still remember the words of Dr. Geeta. So, you don't need to do anything. Earlier days, if there is any bleeding in the first trimester, they used to advise bed rest, strict bed rest, no mobilization, plus progesterone they used to administer. But later on, protocol said it is all useless to do that. So, there is none that need to be done if there is any bleeding in the first trimester. So, 20 to 40 percent pregnant women, vaginal bleeding is common in the first trimester. Obviously, the source is maternal rather than fetal. It is the disruption of the blood vessels in decidua or any discrete lesion of the cervix or vagina can lead to that bleeding, implantation bleeding also. So, first trimester ka. Uh, so answer is none absolutely so doctor uh, first trimester all causes of bleeding but uh, what are the causes bleeding from the viable embryo bleeding from the karyotypical anomalies like trisomies monosomies robertsonian translocations low implantation of gestational sac can cause First trimester bleeding. Welcome Rahul Sharmaji. Thanks for coming and joining. Good to see 90 online students. Today we should once more touch 200 before we close this session. So, multi fetal gestation and complete mole. First trimester bleeding. Propofol target controlled infusion using the Marsh model using the diprofuzar is affected by which parameters? Honestly, doctor, in order to deliver you a lecture, I have to prepare for first time all this terminology. Basically, propofol co, whenever you give a targeted controlled infusion, typically where do we use uh, um, propofol, doctor? 
Propofol is used in all intensive care unit sedation protocols. ICU sedation protocols. Suppose if the patient is fighting against ventilator to make him to not fight against ventilator and bring down his voluntary ventilation, you use the Propofol. So you give a target controlled infusion. There is a model in the computer program called Diprofosar, called Marsh model. Basically, Marsh model will calculate the infusion rate based on the weight and height of the patient. In males, 1.1 into weight minus 128 into weight by height squared. That's how some dumb formula is there. Don't worry about all that. Mainly know about Marsh model. So now I want to once more give it, give this as an example to you. I say Ajeeb questions, 10 to 12 questions with the head. Tension Nakulena. Don't think that you are the only one who don't know the Marsh model. Everybody knows the in the world knows the Marsh model. Impossible of that. So this kind of silly questions examiner, why does he give? He want to seduce you. He want to seduce you to fall prey for the negative marking. Just like before entering website, you will tell, no, I'm not a robot. You will take uh, all the street lights and enter like that. So that is a point uh, I want to tell you. Now, diagnose this skin lesion. Image based regression of the FMG June 2019. They're all umbilicated papules. Umbilicated papules. That is the reason it is molluscum contagiosum. Much more. Identify this lesion. Ab dekha na. December 2019 may be a question. June 2019 may be a question. Fixed question hai. Right? You have to identify dendritic ulcer of the herpes. Actually, it is a dendritic ulcer of the herpes. A is the correct answer. Right? Now, doctor. Uh, Jeanat Farhana. Welcome. So, what is this X-ray showing you? It is a massive pleural effusion. It is not heart failure because heart failure will have that wing-like pattern of pulmonary edema, perihilar. That wing-like pattern. If it is pulmonary embolism, what do you find? Wedge-shaped infarct, which is subpleural and areas of focal oligemia western mark sign hamptons hump malumina triangular wedge shaped subplural infarct is called as hamptons hump focal pulmonary oligemia is called western mark sign so this is a case of massive pulmonary effusion i mean plural effusion now what is this? Typically, it is a squamous cell carcinoma, which is arising from a chronic ulcer, which is called Magellan's ulcer. Why not venous? Venous ulcer will occur along the medial, medial side, not on the lateral side. Here it is lateral side. No, that's the reason it fits to be a Magellan's ulcer. Now, on the glans penis, what are these shiny, shiny, shiny areas that you are seeing? They are called pearly penile papules. Pearly penile papules is what you need to remember. They are asymptomatic, pale, pink to red papules along the corona of the glands is what you should remember so these are called pearly penile papules very benign condition now doctor what is this peeling away of the skin i say that very very easy 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 questions like that image based means you will imagine a lot indian exams are way far behind usmle usmle 
there will be a proper clinical vignette and a proper image that fits into that clinical vignette based questions. India MLE is now evolving. At least a good thing is uh, 10 years back we never thought they will uh, start image based questions. Right? So 10 years back when I used to conduct the All India PG Medical Entrance Mock Test, just for fun sometimes I used to give them uh, Image based questions, they used to laugh at me. Are they, where are you, doctor? USMLE Jao, Yaha Nahi Hota. Magar, Achkal Yaha Bhi Ho Rai. And AIMS exam, a video based questions have also come. Right? All because of internet. Staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome, doctor. What do you see in this picture? You are able to see a punctum and uh, on the scalp, typically punctum is a classical feature of, uh, sorry, uh, this, a, sorry, sorry, this is a question of boil, boil. So, uh, typically boil, there is a pus in the center of the boil, whitish blurry discharge. Very good, Laupreet rightly says, next time they will bring patients only and show you, just like USMLE step 3, right, huh, that they will come. USMLE step 3. Now, yeah, it's possible. If the examiner wants to do that, he can do that actually. He can actually enable patients to have a video conference, explain their features and ask you to make a diagnosis. Maybe that is pending years later, right? Huh. So, that is the story. Now, doctor, what is this fracture? Abba. E answer nahi kare to. Uh, if you don't answer this now, examiner will break your olecranon. So it is a olecranon fracture. But remember, exam may montagia diye to recognize karna. Huh? That is going to be really challenging. Uh, now, doctor. Arun is asking, sir, is my say, kitne questions repeat hoga? Need 2020 May, none of them. The idea is not about uh, leaking the paper. The idea is about pattern. You know, what the examiner want, what topics are very favorite for him. Within the topic, are there any critical things that he want to twist? You should know. Right? So, doctor, how do you treat this? The other day, we were discussing figure of 8, Suchar Dalke. Tension band wiring karke, we will try to repair this uh, olecranon fracture. Yes, what you need to remember. Acha bhaiya bolo, a counts of forceps hai. Punctured answer, okay. Punctured answer. Doctor uh, asked to you, he is saying, Bardo classification for Montagia. Fracture is it? Oh. Uh, Lakshmi Saujanya Indira Shravan Kumar. I am so happy. Today almost 20 students gave a call. Yesterday we said, no, doctor. Please call our helpline and uh, ask for. 953 top high yield topic descending order ka pdf our helpline number once more bata raho aapko 9000868356 next to three days ke liye you get a free pass to the entire video library mock test two lakh powerpoint slides everything online mbbs.com video library ka access you will get a free pass Please take the pass and uh, also the PDF. I'm so happy. Oh, is it? Sarah, I had sent a WhatsApp but no response. Sir. When did you, doctor? When did you? Please do it right away. I will give a call to them to send you. Also get included into, please send a message on the WhatsApp. That is more easier. So. Uh, please ask yourself to be included into the WhatsApp study group. 
we have almost 20,000 students in about 80 WhatsApp groups and uh, we do a lot of free notes, videos, MCQs, study mates, handwritten notes, everything will be explicitly shared. So be part of our uh, uh, gang. That's what I like to tell you. Now, doctor, this is artery forceps, doctor, not sponge forceps. Shailes Klinborn. So, doctor, hemostatic forceps is designed to catch or clamp or to crush the tissue. There is a shaft, shank, and a finger bow, the ring which is used to holding the instrument. Whereas this is sponge holding forceps. That's what you should recognize. So mosquito forceps is basically a forceps to grasp the artery or blood vessel or to hold the delicate uh, tissue. So artery forceps may, small one is mosquito halstead, medium is pencil, large is Bailey's forceps. So if you accompany to the operation theater at least uh, one week in your MBBS entire tenure if you spend uh, seven nights in the uh, OT doctor. Always the best person from whom you can learn is your MS general surgery first year guys. They need a lot of hands to support. Because there is a donkey work. Ward may come karna, discharges likna, theater go bhagna, itra kam reita. So that is the reason. Right? Uh, now doctor, uh, Bailey book bhi hai, aur artery bhi hai, artery forceps bhi hai, badiya. Read Bailey daily used to be the old uh, age, which, in which case 100% bioavailability. Saujanya, you will get a free pass on the WhatsApp, please call the WhatsApp, right? Please call the, uh, please uh, send a message that you want a password for next uh, three days freely into online mbbs.com for doing the revision, right? Huh. Arun, you also did not get, oh, is it? I will right away call uh, our person, oh, it's too late eh, to call her. Uh, I, will, I will definitely put a word, doctor, please don't worry, yeah? Now. Intravenous, intravenous bioavailability. Most common vein which is used in the central vein infusion, always it is the external jugular, even ex I mean internal jugular, even external jugular also you can be able to cannulate. So, but commonly it is the internal jugular. Now, doctor, how do you classify immunoglobulins? Dekhne me simple lagta hai question aap answer karke dekho mein dekhta hoon. Anisha is saying punch with answers for question number 2 or 3. Saujanya is saying A, Anil is saying B, B, come on Anil. Uh, Anvita is saying C, no. Dekha na, itna simple hai. Magar itna complex hai. I say questions answer wrong kare to doctor toda 10,000 rank piche padte hai ha. So be careful. Huh? So heavy chains, constant region is the basis. The light chains can also be divided into subtypes. But immunoglobulins are classified based upon the heavy chain that to the constant region of the heavy chain. So based on the constant region of the heavy chain, you have gamma, G, A, M, E, D, right? So once more, I want to reinforce to you a point. Microbiology may aane wale 20 MCQs may 
वन क्वेश्चन इनवेरेबली ऑन वन ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ इम्यूनोग्लोबल के बारे में नहीं आए तो मेरा नाम मुरली प्रकाश नहीं डेफिनेटली आएगा उतना दिल का नजदीक इश्यू मैटर है ये एग्जामिनर के लिए नाउ व्हाट इज मोस्ट कॉमन सिम्टम ऑफ नेसोफेरिंजल कार्सिनोमा डॉक्टर ए बास इन द नेक पेनलेस सर्वाइकल लिम्फेडिनोपति Please describe this. What is this instrument which you are seeing, doctor? Punch your answer, doctor. Punch your answer. Yes. Kirti Bharadwaj, my twin sister. So, uh, what is your answer? So, doctor, this is the. Lack tongue de depressor. It is called as lack tongue depressor. Okay. So next, which organ is not affected in graft versus host disease? Honestly, none of these organs are exempted, doctor. So that is the reason all of them are affected. That's the point you need to remember. Graft versus host disease occurs in allogenic stem cell transplant. In about 40 to 60 percent of patients, ocular GVHD can very much lead to involvement of eye. Vulva and vagina also become affected. Skin become affected. Then uh, mouth joints, liver, eyes, GIT, lungs, any of them can get affected. Is what you need to remember. A person of AB blood group is called universal recipient. Kisi ka bhi blood le sakta hai, o banda. So once more, doctor, if you see the previous, most recent, 2019, 18, 17 ka uh, AIMS paper, agar aap even last year, NEET PG mein bhi, a blood typing, is a favorite question doctor for the examiner the typing of the blood blood groups is a very very important topic my gut feeling is definitely aega one question will come from the uh, blood group agglutination etc etc on the same youtube channel you have all the neat pg pattern uh, 2018 2019 2017 we have discussed and debated the pattern please take an opportunity to just peruse once if you have time now wood syndrome is not related to obesity all these three prander will leave bonded beidel cushing they are associated with obesity now comes the point doctor the syndromes which are associated with pubertal delay prander will leave lawrence model Moon beetle and Bartet beetle. Be very sure. So, typically, what do you have in Prader-Willi syndrome? Obesity, poor muscle tone, unsatisfiable appetite, incomplete sexual development, retardation, short stature, small hands and feet, and behavioral problems. Then, Bartet beetle syndrome may kya hota hai? There is a retinal dystrophy, obesity, hypogenitalism, and renal abnormalities and learning disabilities. That's what you should appreciate. So what is precursor for all the adenocortical hormones, doctor? It is cholesterol. If you strip the varicose veins, once more varicose veins is also another favorite topic of the examiner. What is the most common complication? See, doctor, pigmented purpuric dermatosis is the complication of varicose veins, not that of stripping. Echimosis. Typically, the most important problem is saphenous neuralgia. In, if that is not there, if that is there in the options, saphenous neuralgia. So, uh, echimosis can occur in about 
6% of cases paresthesia in about 3% of cases is what you should remember. So cephalus neuralgia, infection, hematoma, DVT can occur as a complication of varicose veins surgery is what you should remember. I'm a bit sleepy today. I'll uh, ask some, get some tea. Yeah. Chai banana ke liye Today is a little uh, uh, busy day, doctor. I'm not at my best uh, uh, of wakefulness, but still I am determined to complete this 2019 June FMG tonight at any cost, right? So just bear with me if I'm little drowsily moving forward. Pregnancy, when do you call grand para? Need PG entrance ka grand para kaun hai? Kitne baan try kare to? Uh, whatever life is good is saying me and my twin both are taking up need PG. Wow man, that's good eh? So, grand parity. My younger brother and sister Lavanya and Shiva, they both are twins. I remember uh, growing up with uh, a twin brother and sister in the home. I have two elder sisters, one elder brother and one younger brother and one younger sister. A very romantic guy my dad used to be, right? So at the age of 46, that is at the age what I am, he produced my younger twin brother and sister. So I still remember uh, I am 12 years elder to them. So, if one sleeps, other wakes up and cries and other sleeps, this wakes up and cries. So I still remember uh, the whole night holding them and then running around them. Uh, and whenever they are sick, the whole night I used to feel so sad until they become alright. They both used to be low birth weight babies in the home. So doctor, twins is a big challenge. Nowadays, people don't have energy to produce even one child or half child also. But those days, uh, uh, grand para is a kelta uh, kelta they used to produce. Now, doctor, uh, wow, your twin brother Siri, he wants medicine, I want surgery. Excellent, doctor. God bless you with both of you with the with the with a wonderful uh, dream come true. Always dream is first thing, doctor. Please remember. Dream, dream is uh, the first thing. Pehla kwaab, kwaab ke piche kamiyabi. Isliye kwaab rehna hai. You should be an incurable optimist. And always, what is a very important principle I always believed is. The worst damage that we can ever do to anybody is to kill the dream. And the best help that we can ever do is to give a dream to somebody. So even for the patients also. If somebody has a terminal malignancy, there is no point in making a big hashmash about it. You should tell, you have a malignancy, you, you have a, uh, a little growth your own body growth. It is manageable and uh, they are not medicines, we are in the modern era. Give some hope to the guy so that he will be able to live. That is very, very important. So doctor, what is there in this slide? Ring forms are there. So doctor, Plasmodium falciparum. There will be rings, crescents and banana shaped gametocyte banana shaped gametocytes then merozoites arranged like a grape like cluster gametocyte banana shape and the ring forms you should know how to recognize it in uh, tomorrow's exam very good Sara Kaderi is our dermatologist and uh, who else? What do you want? Abhi, batao, batao. 
Sunday go, coronation is there. You are all royal prince and princesses. We are waiting for the coronation. Uh, Abhi doctor want to take general medicine. Very good doctor. Very good. Uh, Shweta, Shweta want to be orthopedician. Oh my God. I love to break my bones. If Shweta comes to the theater. Right? If Shweta is going to operate, I love to get a fracture. Very good Shweta. Guru Prasad want to be ortho, Sara Khan want to be Dharma, Ramanujam want to be ortho, Mitali want to be surgeon, Maran is my psychiatrist, Raj Joshi is my cardiologist, oh Nayamani, excellent anatomy, Manish want to be a radiologist, Kaja Mohyuddin want to be a radiologist, Abhi Lelo, Tafa Pata Pat Lelo. <laughs> Nagarendi wants to qualify. Qualify Hue to be to the king cup coronation hojata. Tushar want to be a neurologist. Anvita want to be a pediatrician. Jagadishwari want to be a surgeon. Uparwale Sundrai. Right? After seat will jayega. Right? Very good, doctor. And uh, Mohan Babu want to be MCH gastro. Surgical gastroenterologist. Now I have no fear about colon cancer at my 80s if I survive. So, very good. Guru Shankar Gautam want general medicine and pulmonary medicine. Love Preet want to be orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> Sada, you are too good. Eh? Good one, this one. Right now, I wish that at least 10 questions from this should come in the exam. Very good. Pavan also want to qualify. Projecta want to be gynecologist. Om Rishi is our radiologist chief. Excellent doctor. I'm so happy. Same dream you should go doctor. You are born with that. You are born for that. Be very sure. So IMR, infant mortality rate is the health indicator. Oh, Nayamani want to be an IAS. Excellent doctor. Anatomy, MS Anatomy join on a I have one friend called Sampath. Sampath joined in Preventive Medicine MD and then later on joined the civil services. So that's a good option. Shrujin, cool guy want to be a cool orthopedician. Excellent. So doctor, IMR, infant mortality rate. Waste management, incineration. Now, if the radius of the vessel become doubled, blood flow increases by 2 to the power of 4. Right? So, typically, uh, it is radius to the power of 4. If you double it, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the 4, to the 8, to the 16. 16 times the flow will increase. So, the flow rate is proportional to the pressure difference radius to the power of 4 divided by 8 into viscosity into length is what you need to remember. Which prostaglandin for labor induction, doctor? PGE2, PGE1, PGF2 may labor induction. I think F2 should be the answer. F2 should be the answer. Right? Now, de novo synthesis of the fatty acid requires which coincide. So, always remember, there is one, uh, E1 is misoprostol, E2 is dinoprost. Mohan Babu rightly reminds, NADPH is there, no doctor? DPH. P. DPH is in synthetic biochemical reactions. NADH is in the Catabolic reactions. That's what you need to remember. Now, hairy cell leukemia. We use cladribin as a treatment. Then, pancytopenia will be there. Not high platelet count, low platelet count. It originates from the malignant B lymphocytes. Once more, doctor, are you ready? 
லிம்போ லிம்போமா லுக்கீமியா டெஃபினெட்லி ஒன் क्वेश्चन will come doctor two questions le lo do questions aayega so it's very easy to recall the questions pura 950 re topic list lagaye to isme se kya aaya isme se kya aaya isme se kya aaya by say you can be able to uh, recollect what examiner is going to ask so examiner is going to ask very standard things standard way you should get ready so b cell neoplasm there is extensive bone marrow involvement that's reason pancytopenia they also have monocytopenia hairy cells and in the bone marrow what do you see fried egg appearance fried egg appearance similarly in the bone marrow because of uh if pancytopenia is there maybe oh he socho shaiman kumar i was also just before thinking pancytopenia means uh, wbc is also or low no lymphocytopenia should also be correct low lymphocyte count no no but it is a b cell neoplasm na lymphocyte count is high pancytopenia means neutropenia and all that now there is a uh, neoplastic infiltration with a lot of fibrosis of the bone marrow so that is the reason there will be a dry tap dry tap this is the most important duttiest thing you need to remember about uh, hairy cell leukemia doctor what are the cd markers cd19 cd20 cd22 25 103 11 c is the cd markers tartrate resistant acid phosphatase trap positivity is a classical feature of hairy cell leukemia dry tap because pure bone marrow is studded with fibrosis now doctor preventing the emerging risk factors of coronary disease is what level of prevention primordial even before emergence of the risk factors only first year mbbs onwards only if you are starting to prepare for uh, neat pg that is primordial prevention tragic quantel what is it used for it is used for uh tape form fluke hydrated not ocular cystic sarcosis what is the objective of revised national tuberculosis program doctor amma ji nagreddy and indira should correctly answer this question question number 219 what is your answer doctor punch your answer yes uh come on come on please punch your answer very good tabassumi saying b shweta is saying c uh डॉक्टर आर एन टी सी पी प्रोग्राम के ऊपर रॉन्ग कभी भी नहीं करना बोथ ए एंड बी सो एटलीस्ट एटी फाइव परसेंट क्यूर रेट थ्रू डॉट्स एंड ऑगमेंटेशन ऑफ केस फाइंडिंग टूल्स थ्रू क्वालिटी स्प्यूटम माइक्रोस्कोपी सो दैट एटलीस्ट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द केस डिटेक्शन is what you need to remember right doctor now where do you see delicate pupil horner syndrome is meiosis intracranial hemorrhage typically pons when the pontine hemorrhage is there what do you get pyrexia pinpoint pupils is pontine hemorrhage epilepsy may you get a dilated pupil that's what you need to remember so typically whenever tonic clonic seizure is there uh very good indira rightly reminds us now it is elimination program not control program yes 
So, doctor, pupils are dilated in tonic clonic seizures. Poliovirus, how do you detect them in the specimens? Which specimen? Feces, throat, CSF, anywhere you can detect. Which is a best wound care agent out of all this? Hypochlorous acid is the best wound care agent. It is microbicidal antibiophilim and wound healing potency is very high. Here's what you need to remember. That's right. ECG in MI. Appa. Question achcha diya magar options too, too simple diya. Right doctor? But anyway, one important point you need to remember is Single FMG June 2019 made two MCQs from the topic of MI. Definitely MI, myocardial infarction, coronary artery disease ke upar at least two questions at the doctor. Need to PG maybe. Kota, pura Kota. Kota is standard Kota reta harek topic ka. Oh, Kota malum hona chahi. So doctor, this is the normal P. R is the positive wave, R ke baad ane wala hota hai, yes, R ke pehla ane wala hota hai, Q and T wave. So, the ST segment typically become elevated compared to PQ segment. So, most important thing, what is the most important thing, doctor? If you want to do thrombolysis, very good, Laupreet rightly says, SLE will surely come. Mohan Babu, hyperkalemia U wave. Excellent. Hyperkalemia tall tented T waves. Yes, absolutely. So now, one important point. If you want to do thrombolysis, will you do if ST segment is not elevated? No. To do thrombolysis, ST segment should be elevated, must be elevated. Then only you can do thrombolysis. Then uh, a 50% reduction in the ST segment elevation after you do thrombolysis means you are successful. And uh, that lead to inversion of the T wave next. After that the ST segment will normalize. But T wave remain inverted and before the R wave a significant Q wave which is suggestive of the old myocardial infarction is what you need to remember. Maran is asking a very good question. Sir, what is U wave in ECG? Simple alphabet start there. P, Q, R, S, T. T ke baad jo bhi wave aata hai wo U wave hota. U wave can be a negative wave U wave can be a positive wave, but it is a deflection after T wave is called as U wave. Samaj me aage na bade? Haan. It need not be positive always. I mean, it need not be negative. It can be another positive wave after, after the T wave. Chain Stokes pattern is what? Abba. It is an abnormal breathing. Really, I a question in Pucha kya? I doubt. So, doctor, we lost the power. Today in Hyderabad, we have rains. Aajkal subah raat do pahar bhi hum padai kar rahe na, is liye Hyderabad mein is starting to rain. Anyway, doctor, great people became great only by studying under the street lamps, no? So, we are also studying under the street lamp. Sorry, there is no power in my home. Now, normal respiration, this is how it is. Beyond respiration, beyond what the hand attacks it. That means suddenly there will be hyperrhythmic episodes. Mana Hyderabad, correct. Uh, oh, Nagra uh, Disa, which a moon be banai kya? Acha, 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 acha. It is raining in Ranchi also. Very good, doctor. Very good. Arman is from Ranchi. Now, 
this is apnea then this is once more hyperpnea so this kind of uh, variation is called biot's respiration right doctor uh, Manish is saying, Aaj neend raha hai. Ha, humko bhi neend raha hai. Magar khatam karke neend so jayenge, right? No worries. As doctors, as physicians, we will learn how to have power nap. 10 minutes so gaye to fir engine start ho jata. Oh, that condition we are all psychologically tuned with. So doctor, periodic breathing, hyperapnea and apnea, alternating neuron damage is beyond and poor prognosis right now doctor uh, wow sunil yadavji is from ayodhya excellent doctor then kusumal breathing when you get typically when there is a metabolic acidosis there will be hyperapnea which is called kusumal breathing Chain strokes respiration is periodic breathing where there is a gradual hyperapnea, apnea and hypopnea. When you are sleeping, if there is hypoxemia, when there are drugs, uh, when there is a hypoperfusion of the brain, that leads to development of chain strokes respiration. What is the most common cause of PPH? Atony, Thermoactinomycetes is endospore forming. It is a bacteria, prokaryotic, but it is gram positive. Gram positive is what you should remember. Night blindness, vitamin A, even Dut Pite Bachevi Bol Sakta hai. Right? Now, Prader Willi syndrome is due to the loss of the function of the genes in which chromosome? Chromosome number 15. So uniparental disomy. Uniparental disomy. You should remember. If the chromosome 15 comes, this abnormal chromosome 15 comes from father, you get Prader Willi. If it comes from mother, you get Angelman. How will you remember? Angelman, if Amma is having, is, has given you the chromosome 50. Pradrinally, if Papa gave the abnormal chromosome 50, that is what you should remember. So, Pradrinally is on the chromosome 15 and uh, there's a micro deletion in a paternally transmitted chromosome 15. And what will be the phenotypic expression after? Short stature, mental retardation, learning difficulty, hypogonadism, emotional lability, unregulated appetite, hyperphasia leading to obesity. That is Pradervilli. Angelman, typically chromosome number 15 only. But it is uh, uh, from the mother. So normal development until 6 to 12 months. They will have microcephaly, seizures, marked deficit in language, short attention span, frequent laughter and smiling. They will keep smiling, smiling, smiling. Happy puppet like kids are all angel men. Kamoshio retine. It is also called Berlin sedima. I have a gut feeling definitely image based question aega need PG me. So this is after the blunt trauma development of Kamoshio retine. It is the most common retinal manifestation of congestive injury. There is a confluent geographic areas of retinal whitening and uh, you need to wait and watch. That is the main thing that you need to do. Undercooked fish infection, diphenylobotrum latum leading to vitamin B12 deficiency. That is what you need to remember. 
Just a moment, doctor. I am anticipating one more PPT. Be online. Be online. Two minutes. I will uh, go out of the broadcast and rejoin the broadcast. Just two minutes, sir. Because this live broadcast software sucks entire uh, uh, internet resource. I'll just download uh, the next PowerPoint and uh, resume the session. One, one minute, I will uh, log out and then I will log in. Please be online. Okay, Doc. Yes, doctor. We are all back. Now, doctor, welcome back. Uh, Manish Goyal is saying. Sir, my rank in NEET 2015 is 34,000. NEET 2018 is 21,000. No worries, doctor. Is NEET may have two zeros on the right hand side. Huh? No tension, no worries. Uh, yes. Now, doctor, antibiotic prior to the surgery. Uh, Dr. Arman is saying, Sir, please tell a garam garam motivational story from your prep days. Abba, I cried once. I will not tell that story. <laughs> yes. But I will tell you definitely one uh, nice story to you because uh, our friend Manish Goyal uh, reminds me. There is a wonderful classmate of us in the Gandhi Medical College. Actually, for about six months, I studied in Gandhi Medical College in Hyderabad. Later, I went to Varangal, Kartya Medical College. So, I used to have a classmate called uh, Dr. Rajeshwar Reddy. Dr. Rajeshwar Reddy. Excellent guy. Very sincere. Early morning, Gurte. Padaike Vina Kuchvi Naikarte. Comes from a very rural background in uh, Nizambad in uh, Telangana, and uh, he is uh, uh, also from Telugu medium. All guys who are from Telugu medium, rural background, used to be very close friends, right? So there are two subjects: Shah and uh, Datta, obstetrics. We used to hate reading that. Very tough to recall. Pella interest line So in 1997, uh, I passed uh, 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 I passed uh, MBBS. Of course, I already produced a child when I was in a. My elder son was born when uh, I was um, in. Uh, Housemanship. So, my younger child is born uh, after 12 years, of course, with the same wife. So, uh, now, doctor, 
This guy in 1997 when he took the state MD entrance, he got 68th rank, 1997. With that, he is getting DCH. Right? His passion is pediatrics. Then uh, uh, this guy, when he took PGI Ames, he got somewhere 500 rank here and uh, 500 rank over Ames. He didn't join DCH. Huh? to DCH count leta? Nailia. So started studying. So once more, next Ames PGI after six months, 98. 98 June May, uh, Gaya. So from 500, he reached around 300 here and 300 here. Okay, no worries. Then we used to have the state entrance in September. Once more, he took the next year, September state entrance. This time, he got 56th rank. Once more, same DCH is available for him. So, very, he is the most promising guy in the batch. So, that was uh, December of 1998. 1998, December ke baat karo. Similar winter. I have uh, gone to drop him in the Sikhidrabad railway station uh, on the bike. Farewelling him for uh, going to the Ames and uh, PGA exam. Virtually there are tears in his eyes. He was telling me, he was telling us, there used to be, he is my classmate, there are also juniors who are a big fans of uh, Rajeshwar Reddy. We used to call him Raju. He said, guys, every time I am reaching almost there and missing it. I don't know. I feel uh, one and a half year ho gaya, husbandship katam ho ke. His father is a school teacher. So, it's a big burden for my parents also. I don't know what to do. And I don't want to take the DCH. So, almost he has tears while getting into the train. So, we all thought, okay, let him do good. He took Ames and uh, PGI. He got 8th rank in Ames. And he got 4th rank in PGI. And he joined the uh, PGI in uh, MD Pediatrics. When he was returning uh, from uh, Delhi to Hyderabad, it was almost like a big show in the hostel, Gandhi Medical College hostel. He is like a war hero returning from the war. So he took up his Shah's textbook and said, whoever runs fast and reach me, I am going to give this uh, Shah fully underlined. So the guys, there were all a lot of juniors competing to take his uh, Shah textbook. I still remember. So later on, the guy did uh, MD Pediatrics, then DM Neonatology, then he became, uh, he is a top neonatologist practicing now in Australia, Sydney. Right? So whenever he comes now, we keep uh, uh, joking on him. Are you so much of a tension in your fall? We all have so much of a tension. Finally, we are going to see someone in foreign. So he says that you come to Australia or you go to America, you will understand that. Anywhere humans are all humans. All these nations are what we divided. So that's the reason. So he is a very nice guy. So let me tell you one thing, doctor. The gist of the story is, believe yourself. Believe yourself and uh, dream and, and work towards the dream. Whatever be the setbacks, really doesn't matter. 100 people may say that you won't get the seat. Another 100 may falsely say that you are the hero and you are going to get the seat. But who is the person who will really know the strengths inside? You yourself know the strength inside your consciousness very well. You know, you know which topics you are in the comfort zone, which topics probably you would have read. So be very sure about it. So 
I wish you all good luck that I will also be waiting uh, on the Sunday evening that you all guys will come back and tell hey so many things that we have discussed recent times have all come in the exam and really we did good that's a good thing that I am eagerly looking forward to have the same dream no worries now doctor antibiotic prior to surgery we give it uh, in uh, at what time 30 minutes so one of the days I will ask Dr. Rajesh Reddy from uh, Sydney from Australia to join on a Skype call which we can broadcast online so that uh, you will see a guy who was badly beaten by the entrances and failures but Jindagi ke sabse bade cheez nahi girne mein nahi magar gir kar har dafa uthne mein hai doctor that is very important so 30 minutes new drug testing to compare with existing drug that is called statistical inference so statistical inference is an act of generalizing from a sample example mein study ki aapne wo results ko le ja ke pura population ko upar aap inferences le rahe usko bolte hai statistical inference now uh, most commonly injured i mean fractured one is which one in this area of anatomical snuff box scaphoid scaphoid fracture about salmonella we use xld agar iske pehle bhi maine ek question aapko yaad dilaya xld agar is basically to differentiate salmonella from shigella salmonella produce hydrogen sulfide that will convert the xld agar to show black colonies similarly sugar fermentation so doctor salmonella metabolize the thiosulfate they produce the hydrogen sulfide which will typically lead to formation of the colonies with the black centers which is the way to differentiate it from that of the shigella is what you should remember then what is pikes medium doctor one of the options given was pikes medium pikes medium is for streptococcus pyogenes transport medium Similarly, thioglycolate broth is for the anaerobes. Carry blade broth, universal stool transport medium. Stewards medium is for the cilia. That's what you need to remember. Then similarly, selective medium, please don't forget. Thayer Martin. Then PPLO with penicillin, they're all for the cilia. Similarly, bile salts. Adding bile salts will make it a selective medium. Typically, McConkey selective for gram negative, XLD selective for Salmonella and Shigella, DCA, deoxycholate agar selective for Salmonella and Shigella. Then, similarly, Telluride medium is for the coronary bacterium. 10% salt is selective for Staphylococci. Salt agar is what you need to remember. Now you identify this muscle which is being tested, doctor. Come on, who is giving me the correct answer? Question number 274. Yes, 274. Identify this muscle. Vinish is proposing flexor hyalysis longus. Absolutely right. Now, what is a blood stain test once more? Blood stain test, semen test, all this uh, forensic medicine stuff, be very sure. Hemin crystal, doctor, Hemin crystal. Tikumen tests, bolte hai, where glacial acetic acid and sodium chloride mixture is the reagent. This reagent will cause hemoglobin molecules to split down and that forms the Hemin, is called Tikumen. A female patient feels that her intestine is rotten. 
with psychiatric illness she is suffering from doctor somatoform disorder once more how do you differentiate all these disorders is a favorite question of the examiner right now <clears throat> people with somatoform disorder they do not consciously want or purposely produce the symptoms actually so there are hysterical somatoform disorders and uh, the main feature of the somatization disorder is multiple somatic complaints will be there doctor before the age of 30 years that is a important uh, uh, thing now there are five kinds of somatoform disorders Somatization disorder, hysteria, hypochondriosis, body dysmorphic syndrome, somatoform pain disorder, they are all basically the five somatoform disorders. Now, this is a very interesting question. I like to see your answer. Uh, now, doctor. This is latissimus dorsi. Okay. Now, you have one muscle here, one muscle here, one muscle here. So, this muscle labeled C, this is labeled B. What is this muscle? Uh, is a uh, very interesting question. Come on. Who will give me the correct answer? In the shoulder blade area, what is this muscle? Punctual answers, doctor. Uh, Anisha is proposing infraspinatus. Sarah is proposing T is minor. Then uh, uh, Deepika is also proposing infraspinatus. Excellent, doctor. It is T is major is what you should recognize. So doctor, this is infraspinatus. This is teres major. Between the two, you are having teres minor and this is the lattice mustos. So that is the challenge of the question. Now, patient thinks she has a heart attack and the pain is prolonged for 20 minutes. What is it an example of? It's an example of panic attack so, what are the various list of anxiety disorders, doctor? Separation anxiety, specific phobias, generalized anxiety, panic attack also come, is a type of anxiety disorder. There is a sensory neural hearing loss. Which cochlear implant do you want to fit in an infant? Uh, that is an uh, interesting question. Uh, yes, doctor. What type of cochlear implant do you use in case of infant? Should you answer? So, most of you are saying Baha. Absolutely. Baha. Kya hota hai, doctor? Bone anchored hearing aid in an infant. Bone anchored hearing aid is the one which is being used in the in fans is what you need to remember. Right, Doc? Next. What is this apparatus which is being presented over here? Punch your answer, Doctor. Is apparatus ko kya bolte hain? Angreji mein. Yes. Life is good almost correctly said, but not. We need more. Uh, Fully correct answer. Uh, Ashish Pandey also sings Hambi, 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 Hambi. This is Watson skin graft knife. Even Hambi graft car improvisation is Watson skin graft. So Hambi's knife. Yes. So Hambi's knife is used 
for both the split skin graft and full thickness graft. Commonly used site is thigh and uh, full thickness graft, post nodicular area, supraclavicular area, groin crease area, full thickness graft ke liye bhi humbi knife. But the humbi knife is modified by Blair and Watson. So this is an example of a Watson's knife. What is the level of scapula, tip of scapula, typically T7. Farmer's infection of the foot is Madura foot. So this is how Actino Madura Madure is the one which is responsible Madura foot. This is also another example of Madura foot. What does this sex ratio doctor? There is a lot of air containing gut occupying the hemithorax. So what is this doctor? This uh, x-ray suggestive of that means abdominal gut has gone into thorax so congenital diaphragmatic hernia is what you need to remember what is this x-ray picture which is showing where there is a straightening of the border of the heart left heart border that means there is a pulmonary hypertension that is a clue to say that it is mitral stenosis one more important point remember doctor if you look at the cardiac chamber size typically in the mitral stenosis the amount of blood entering from left atrium to left ventricle is diminished so left ventricle has no business or a need to enlarge so it won't be enlarged if the left ventricle is enlarged in size, that means if there is a cardiomegaly, it is never pure mitral stenosis. That is the favorite question of the examiner. Okay, doc. Now, what are the normal fasting blood sugar out of all this? Typically 100 milligrams per deciliter, 80 to 100 fasting, 170 to 200 after eating, 2 to 3 hours after eating, 120 to 140. 101 to 125 is called pre-diabetes. 126 plus is called diabetes as all of you know. Now, this is a nagging MCQ doctor. Upper limit of initiation of the first dose of the rotavirus vaccine. What is the upper limit of the age to initiate the first dose of the rotavirus? Come on, punch your answer doctor. Yes. Praveen is proposing B. They go, I saw question on the ato, Kalki need PG entrance me. Don't take a chance of making wild guesses. Kyoki, even by any split of imagination, it is difficult unless you are sure shot about the answer earlier if you happen to solve. Right? So, this kind of questions you have to be careful. Uh, do not attempt and lose marks. That's very important. So doctor, 15 weeks. The minimum age at which the first dose of the rotavirus vaccine is at 6 weeks. Maximum age is up to 14 weeks, 6 days. That is up to 15th week. You can give the rotavirus vaccine is what you need to remember. Very good. 6, 10, 14 weeks. Excellent. Already. Now, the term baby a term baby is apneic bag and mask ventilation was given for 30 seconds heart rate is 90 per minute subsequently it is still less than 100 what is the next step basically you need to check for the chest movement so while doing cpr of the infant or young child check for the responsiveness that is very very important right while you are doing CPR. Identify this in the picture, doctor. What do you see? The golden crusted lesions. They are typically the lesions of impetigo is what you should remember. Color blindness. Color blindness test. Which one? Ishahara 
Home Greens, Wool, Fonsworth Lantern, they are all the examples of the color test. What is this called as Dr. Ishara, Ishihara chapter. While you are entering into MBBS, they will show all this to check for the color blindness now. Now, bags of worms. Where do you see? In case of varicocele, typically left varicocele is common. Varicocele may bag of worms appearance is what you typically come across. Now, with a punctum on the scalp, what is this lesion, doctor? Sebaceous cyst of the scalp. Patient comes to emergency with fever, chills and right upper quadrant pain. That means there is liver abscess. Classical triad of clinical features. Subperiosteal hemorrhage of the bones scarata. Whenever there is scurvy and capillary fragility and that leads to bleeding. So what is this lesion? With a slippery border, it is lipoma. So, in a dehydrated child, if the skin pinch goes back very slowly, the next step, what do you want to do? For every episode of diarrhea, you need to give ORS. Congenital rubella syndrome may. Kya hota? Sensorineural deafness, glaucoma, pulmonary artery stenosis. Where do you see headlight in for the appearance of fundus, doctor? Come on, give me the answer. Where do you see headlight in for the appearance? Recently we discussed this question also. Excellent. Abhishek rightly reminds toxoplasmiosis. Absolutely, doctor. So, aap sab jane, absolutely ready for attack. Headlight in for the appearance in a patient who has acquired toxoplasmiosis is what you should remember. Which is a fat soluble vitamin doctor, easiest question in the planet earth. Vitamin D, A and E, whereas B12 is water soluble. Most radio exposure, kaha hota hai? So doctor, this is one interesting question. Examiner will ask you, what is the radiation exposure with each of these procedures? X-ray KUB, 0.7 millisieverts. IVP 2.5, micturition cystourethrogram 1.2, CT abdomen 10, renal angiogram 2 to 30. So you should be very sure on the relative radiation dosages. So doctor, the image below, the image below where there is a ganglion cyst trying to encroach on the Guyans canal. Which muscle weakness do you see? Which nerve is injured in Guyans canal? Guyans canal, Guyans syndrome. Allah So, flexor carpi ulnaris is the one which become weak in Guyans canal syndrome where there is an entrapment neuropathy of the ulnar nerve in the pisohamate tunnel is what you should remember. Now on the extensor surface, scaly lesions are there. What is this doctor? Foreign medical graduates, psoriasis. Now doctor, a child presents with the bilious vomiting on the day two of life. Bilious, congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis mein kya hota? Non bilious hota. So, either kya dikhai de rahe aapko, Dr. Saab, double gas shadows, two gas shadows, double bubble sign in case of the duodenal atresia is what you need to remember. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. We are done with the foreign medical graduate pattern of June 2019, doctor. Tomorrow, we will take 300 questions in once more uh, uh, foreign medical graduate in uh, 2018 2018 exam what is your preference this or Jipmer uh, June paper which one do you want your choice 
so but still what i feel is this looks more similar to the pattern of neat pg this fmg jipmer thoda pondicherry ka side mein hai na hai na doctor some of you are saying jipmer some of you are saying fmg dekhenge one of them one of them we will take but definitely tomorrow afternoon once more 3 o'clock we will all meet up doctor and let me once more tell all you guys please feel free to call our helpline whatsapp 9000868356 you will get a 3 day free pass to the online mbbs.com video library right online mbbs.com video library where you have 2 lakh powerpoint slides like this 30000 mcqs in the last 15 years discussed 953 high yield topics reviewed 1000 hours of video content which is nearly 3000 video lectures and all this content become archived into the online mbbs.com so please take an opportunity to take a free pass also become part of our whatsapp study group in order to get the updates notes mcqs and a companionship of wonderful guys across the country so and any time you feel tension no worries i am very much there to chat with you 24x7 let me tell you not just today not just tomorrow all my lifetime i am very much available until you get the see mera zimmedari hai theek hai good night have a good dream and uh, only a positive dream wake up morning jog 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 sweat yourself come back to the reading room start you are ready for the front end battle like american scud missiles you are going to hit the battle zone and come out successful good night doctor